Hey parents, Patty Ann here. Also school teachers or homeschoolers or grandma. I'm going to show you an activity today that you can do with the book that I just got done reading the kids. The Room on the Broom. Room on the Broom. Um, and it's a really cute activity. You don't have to have anything special. You just have to have a printer and go outside with your kids and find some sticks onto which you can glue these things. Okay. Or if you'd rather, just like I've shown here, I did do it on little um, clothespins because they could put it on the stick and I didn't have to have a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor. Again, the kids and I could go outside and get a stick and just put these on there like that for sequencing. It's a great way to help your child learn sequencing. While you're reading the book, they can be putting the things on the stick as well and then maybe retell the story to you afterwards. So let's go up to my screen and I'm going to show you where you can get these things for free. Okay, it's a long address, totschooling.net, if you just want to go there and then do a search for it. But I'll have the exact link for you down below so you can get exactly where you need to be. And when you scroll on down, you'll see Room on the Broom Printables for Pre-K and K, Kindergarten, Pre-Kindergarten and Kindergarten. And I thought this was a lot of fun, uh, especially if you have kids who are getting a little bit older, you can do some of these other activities with them. This is sequencing, again then they can practice printing. This one they're supposed to match the letter, the first letter to the animal. For example, D for dog, F for frog, obviously, W for witch, and so on. But this page is the one that I used, although I didn't use it for this kind of sequencing, and I'll show you how I did it. But you don't have to have a machine to be able to do this. You can just print these off just as they are. So here's where you'd click to download your free broom pack. Comes in just like this. And all you would have to do to make these is to go ahead, and this is the third page here, just go to your printer and say you want to just print, let's see, print, you just want to print page three, custom. So we just want to print page three, and I'll hit enter. And that, whoops, it's going to print it, I'm afraid. I didn't want it to really print because I've already done it. <sighs> but anyway, it's going to print page three for us, and we can just cut out around these. You don't have to have a machine to do this. Now, if you do have a Cricut machine or a Silhouette machine, I'll so show you very quickly how easy it is to use these and have them cut there. So... Let's go to my Cricut right quick. Oh, oh the paper, there's no paper. Lucky me in the printer, so it didn't print. Great. All right, so let's go to Silhouette now. And here's where I've already done it. And as you know, I have um, twin grandbabies, so I always do things twice. But let's just start again. We'll go to File, Open. This is how you always open PDFs if you download them or Acrobat files. Go to Open. There it is, free room on the broom printables. Say OK. And I'm going to go to the page. Look over here. Here's page number one, page number two, page three. Oh, that's not what I wanted anyway. I wanted page four. So you need to remember to import it as an image. And I'll change its DPI to 300 just because. And import it. So here it comes in like this. And as I said, if you're doing this without a machine, without a Cricut or a Cameo, when you print it, you'll get all of these things printed out. So maybe all you want are these. So you can just rough cut around them, make a square or a circle, whatever. Doesn't matter. But if you do want to use your machine, here's what I recommend you do for your Cricut or your Cameo. Come over here to the Trace panel. Select the Trace area. And then just come over here and trace all of these at once. I would up the threshold quite a bit to make sure I'm getting everything I want in there. Looks pretty good. And then I would say trace and detach because this is a print and cut. So now I can move this white sheet off and all I have are all of these guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a nice white offset around them. And if you'll notice in my sample that I showed, I didn't have the hat because that's not part of the sequence, although it does fly off. That's the first thing that flies off. I don't think it's necessary, so I got rid of it. So then the next thing I did was I just grabbed all of these and came over to the offset panel, which is the star, and put an offset on them. And I left it at the default. I went up here and changed its color to white. 
And if I was using this in my Cricut machine, I would probably change the line color, which is right here, to a medium gray. And then I would just go ahead and group everything. And now the next thing I would do is I would just send this to my Cricut machine. So I'd probably select it and go File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, Free Room on the Broom Printables, and I'll put for Cricut. Oops. Now since I have the Business Edition, and you must have that, I can save this as a JPEG for over there. So that's what I'm going to do. Save. Leave all these numbers alone and just say Save. Now open Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how easy it is to use there. For Silhouette, all you have to do is send it to your printer and then send it to be cut. But I'll show you that right quick at the very end. So here comes Cricut. It's updating, installing. Here you go to a new project, upload, upload an image, browse, and it should be in my downloads. And let's see. Free room on the broom printables for Cricut. JPEG file. Say open. There they come in perfectly. I'll say complex and continue. And now I want to make sure I get the nice offset. So look at that. If I click it just like that, I lost the witch's offset and the frog's offset. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to come over here to Advanced Options and change the color tolerance to 8 and hit Enter. Then I'm going to come over here and click. And then I end up having all the nice offsets around the things that I want. So I'll continue and save. Now the only problem I'm going to have is it's going to probably be too big. Let's see. Nope, it's not. So I can leave it like that, but you know what I'm going to do, you guys? I am going to go to the shapes because I forgot to tell you one thing I always do, and that is to make sure that I put a size. So let's see, that's... Let me show you. So let's go back over to Silhouette, and here, these are the exact size I want them to be, and I know that. So this is 4.409. So what I would do is I would go to File, Save Selections, Save to Hard Drive, and I'd put it as, the first numbers would be 4.409, because that's the size I know it needs to be, and I'll put 4 Cricut. And I'll save that. So now, I'm going to open that one, and let's see if it is a different size. Here's Cricut. Let me get rid of this box. I'm going to go to uh, Upload, Upload an Image, Browse, for that one. Okay, open. That looks good. Complex. Continue. I know I want to go to Advanced and make this an 8, so I don't get rid of my pretty offsets. Click this. Right here, i got to get rid of that little bit, too. And then say Continue. Save. Let's bring this in. And we know the size of this one should be 4.409 based on this. So it was pretty close, actually. Look. But sometimes it's way off. So I would change it to 4.409 and hit Enter. And that's the size that it should be. So then I can just go ahead and make it. So it's going to cut these. After I print it, it's going to ask me to print it first, and then it will cut them. But let's cancel this for a sec, because you may be wondering, I don't see that white offset on here. How do I know it's really there, and where this is going to cut? Am I sure it's not going to cut right around her little braid and around her little feet? Remember, I've shown this before. You just come down here towards this blank canvas. Click on that. Looks like nothing happened. But you can come up here and change the color of the canvas. And now you can see that there's definitely a little white offset that's going to be cut out. It's not going to cut right up against her braid. So that's it for this. As far as for your Cameo, let's go back over there really quickly. All you have to do is, after you print it, well, first of all, before you print it, though, you need to put on the registration marks to let it know that it's a print then cut. Then after you print it, you're going to go to Send, 
And notice there are red lines around her body and feet and arms and around the outside. You don't want it to cut twice like that. So you need to grab all this stuff and just say cut edge. Right now it's on cut. You want it to be cut edge. Then notice there's just one thing that's being cut. So that's all there is to it. Then what I did on mine was I just used those little pieces of sticky dots and put those on the back so I could change these out if I wanted to to something else at some point. I think that's a super cute activity to go along with the book. And you also get all those other freebies if you have an older child, maybe a little bit closer to pre-K or kindergartner. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like my videos. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell. And if you have a book recommendation, let me know in the comments or any other recommendations about a craft or something you'd like me to show. So again, thanks for joining me. See you all again soon. Bye.